Perfect to Kendall Hyde, who's also out in the crowds. You know, Rob, I got this cool cowboy hat on, so I just want to say howdy, partner. But guess what? I got a little bit of wrist drip. I even got one here on my pinky. Call this a pinky ring friendship bracelet. But you know what? Let me show you what the banks is looking like right now, because Taylor Swift is definitely the most famous person of this generation, right? We can't even get this many people here at Fox 19. Now, one local business I spoke with on the banks and in Newport says that this weekend has brought in over $50,000. I would say fifty, sixty thousand dollars yeah, because our rooms, you know, we have a 122-room hotel here, and if you're thinking you're getting 700 to up to 2,000, like, they definitely, she should be blessed to have that kind of fans. You heard that right. When Taylor Swift announced the dates for her Eras tour back in November of 2022, she generated fifty to $60,000 just for the Hampton Inn in Newport, which says they sold out of rooms within two days. The good news is that anyone looking for a last second hotel, they received a cancellation this weekend. But of course, it comes with a catch. We do have one room available and we tell them it's a thousand dollars. They're like, no, but then they'll go stand outside for, they don't even have tickets, but they'll go get their merchandise. Lori Elder and Sam Vandergriff traveled three hours just to watch Taylor Swift and the Queen City. Uh, we were on Ticketmaster for like yeah, seven hours. And both women say that after securing their tickets, they searched high and low for several hotels throughout the Cincinnati area. And the only hotel that was close with any openings was the Hampton Inn in Newport. Total was 429. All for you all? Mm -hmm. That low ticket cost is because they secured their rooms the day the tour was announced. And if a concert goer wants to get a room now, <laughs> you're going to pay anywhere between $2,500 to $3,000. And that spending continues beyond there because Holy Grail at the banks says they expect to make more money this weekend than they did the entire Bengals Super Bowl run just a few years ago. Taylor's bringing a different energy and a different group and a different, I mean, even from yesterday, just I, I was amazed that the line just for merchandising. Now, Rob, I know you heard that $50,000 mark. I think it's time for you and I to go half on the hotel. And next time Taylor Swift comes into town, you and I will be raking in the dough. But for now, I'm going to send things back to you. Live at the banks, Kendall Hyde, Fox 19 now. Uh, Kendall, I will partner with you whatever the business proposition is.